Hello everyone and welcome to episode 112 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now in this specific episode we'll be discussing do you need to use reefy days within this specific context and I'll discuss exactly what context I'm talking about. And One of the reasons why I'm bringing this up is I think reefy days are starting to become overused. People are using them when they really don't need to use them just because people believe that there's some magic behind reefy days there's a little bit of a stigma behind them they're a little bit different than the traditional nutrition advice and that's why people are attracted to them however it's critical to realize that they're only necessary within a specific context we'll discuss exactly what a reefy day is why you might use one when it's necessary when it isn't necessary because as I mentioned people are overusing this and therefore just making things more complex than it needs to be within the fat loss phase. So first of all what is a reefy day? So reefy day is basically a high carbohydrate day within the context of a fat loss phase ultimately what typically would happen is you'd have your fat loss calories, protein, carbohydrates and fats throughout the week and then you'd typically have one day where the carbohydrate intake is much higher. Usually around, you usually bring your calories up to approximately maintenance calories. You're probably wondering why on earth would you do this? Well, there's a few reasons. First of all, there's a hormone called leptin which drops within a fat loss phase and therefore by having a high carbohydrate refeed day it can help to restore leptin. Additionally, it can provide a short-term psychological break from the diet and it can also replenish glycogen stores. However, it's really important to note that some of these negative physiological adaptations only really occur when you start to get lean. So with regards to leptin, for example, it's only really going to be potentially detrimental to your results when you're, for males, for example, sub 15% body fat at least, and for females, sub 17% body fat at least. If you're above those body fat percentage figures, you're not really going to see some of these negative physiological adaptations and therefore just focusing on a linear approach i.e. the same calories, protein, carbohydrates and fats every single day focusing on creating the energy deficit need for fat loss every single day that would be my suggestion you don't really need these high carbohydrate refi days it just makes things more complex than they need to be and as I mentioned not really seeing those negative physiological adaptations until you get to the leaner stages So that would be my recommendation is only consider using them for males under 15% body fat, females under approximately 17% body fat. If you're above those totals, just focus on the basics. Focus on sufficient protein to preserve lean muscle mass and then calories match to try and lose 0.5 to 1% weight loss per week. An energy deficit that allows you to maintain as much muscle mass within the fat loss phase. And even when you do get below the 15% mark for males and on 17% body fat for females, they're not always necessary within the fat loss phase. Sometimes I use them for clients, sometimes I won't. It really depends on the individual, but I certainly would not use them unless this individual is already very lean. So hopefully that's been useful. Like I said, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because reefy days are becoming more and more popular and they're being used by people that don't need to use them. By using them unnecessarily just makes things more complicated than it needs to be as opposed to just focusing on a more linear approach to the fat loss phase. Same calories and macronutrients every single day. So hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. If, if you're still yet to download my free book how to set up a nutrition plan, if you go to James Layton, L-O-Y-T-O-N, Fitness Code UK, you'll see a tab at the top of the page called free book and you can download that immediately. I look forward to speaking to you next week. Thank you very much.